Hi guys, it's Lynn here. Hope you're having an incredible day. Now today, or this afternoon I should say, I'm going to be potting up the wonderful cuttings that um, me and Hansi got today and we're very excited about this. If you haven't seen the video of us unboxing um, this, uh, these lovely cuttings, then links up above to um, the video of me doing the unboxing. And uh, we've got some wonderful goodies that we're going to be potting up and a couple are going to be rooting in water. So um, I'm going to show you what we've got and as I say do watch that video first if you haven't seen it already and this is just going to be um, me potting them up and sharing it with you all. Now guys what we've got here we have got um, from the unboxing a Corina Puncher Morelli. It's gorgeous little um, one of your Puncher families and it's a very cold hardy one. So I've got this little pot here for it and then we have a couple of um, these we've been after for such a long time. It's a Slumbergera apuntioides and it's a, slum, a Slumbergera that resembles an apuncher in how it, how it looks. Like you would think that was an apuncher, uh, but it is actually um, a Slumbergera. And the Slumbergera are commonly known as the Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus, um, the crab cactus, all of them ones. It's actually related to that family and it's an epiphytic cactus. Um, so different soil mixes here, which I'm going to explain what I've used. And then we've also got a couple of um, Schlumbergers as well. And this example, so it's hard to believe that is related to that, as you can see, um, rather than the Apuncher. And this is Schlumbergia, two different Schlumbergias. Schlumbergia lutea, which is lovely sort of small little leaves on there. And it has beautiful golden yellow flowers on it too. And this one is a Schlumbergia frone, and it's one of the hybrids there as well. And as I say, I'm going to be rooting the two... Um, traditional Schlumberger types in rainwater and you can pot them up straight into soil but the reason why I'm using rainwater is because personally when I've made many cuttings and I always propagate Schlumberger it's very easy to propagate pull a pull a couple of leaf seg uh, segments off um, leave it to dry for a day or two and then put it into, um, into to a well draining cactus mix or you can root them in water and I've actually found that rooting in water has worked very, very well for me because I can see when the roots are forming and if there is any chance of rot, then at least it can be saved. But I've had very success with rainwater. And I'll show you my success I've had with that is um, links up above to a video on rooting cactus, Christmas cactus cuttings in water and uh, my results and it shows you the results that I've had with it there so do go over as I say when it comes to cactus cutties I would never recommend rooting them in water um, the only type of succulent plants I'd root in water normally will be things like sedums and some certain calanchoes will root in water as well and aeniums and things like that I would never root um, succulents or cacti cactus cuttings because they're very very prone to rot completely different care to normal plants but when it comes to Schlumbergera and some other epiphytes like epiphyllums as well they can be rooted in water and I've had good success with it so um, this is why I'm going to root these in water so I've got the little some cute little jars there with rainwater already and then once they're sending out roots I'll then pop them up and the good thing is because there's a lot of the plant on this if they did happen to rot I could propagate the top part so it shouldn't be any problems now I'll just explain why I'm using two different types of soil mixes with these cacti is first of all this is a Coria puncher morellii and a puncher is part of the desert type of cacti they're like a very well draining sandy mix so in this case I've used a loam based compost um, a John Innes uh, number two with added horticultural sand and added perlite. The perlite gives aeration and the sand gives extra drainage. And the reason why I like to use a John in is, is it's a loam based potting mix and you can use any type of loam based potting mix Johnny's in is, is very popular here in Ireland and the UK um, it's not I don't think it's in fact a lot of people in the States said they've never heard of it so but any type of loam based compost I like to use with um, cacti the desert cacti um, but I know growers that use peat and they have great success so really this is only my personal experience and um, that's what I've mixed up there and a bit of pearl for extra drainage and um, the Slumbergeras are completely different. Now I'm using a different, they look similar, but it's actually a completely different mix in here. With the Slumbergera, I've mixed um, a combination of um, peat-based soil 
with extra perlite for aeration and also a bit of the John Innes as well but I haven't added any extra sand. Now because Slumbergera cacti are epiphytic they like more moisture than the desert types so they don't need to have like sharp sand added to the soil, they don't need as much drainage but they still need to have a lot of aeration and they still like drainage. Epiphytic plants obviously like orchids and uh, the other type of Slumbergeras and um, especially like epiphyllums, like, they all grow um, in, in nature hanging off trees so they have a, they need a lot of well drainage and um, they, they live off the, the nutrients from the fallen leaves falling from the trees so they don't need a very heavy nutrient rich soil like the other type of desert cacti do. They like more of a peat based soil. Um, so in this case, Slumbergera punctuates is very temperamental. Apparently it's a very difficult one to grow on its own roots. It's often seen grafted. I have no experience of ever growing this plant. So this is completely new to me. So I'm not the best one to be giving advice. Believe me, I'm hoping I can learn from this and it's gonna be a success so I can share with others. But this is the mix that I've come to my conclusion with. There's very little about this plant on the internet about its care. Um, all I know, it, it doesn't like as much moisture and as much um, rich type of soil as the um, normal Slumbergeras because normal Slumbergera grows hanging off the trees this Apuntia apparently grows lower down sometimes at the base of the tree so it, it does like a bit more aeration and apparently not as much as, as, as well draining I don't know how true it is but I think you can never go too wrong when it comes to drainage so I, I to be on the safe side I've added extra perlite and I've mixed um, a lone base soil with extra peat so I'm adding peat to this because as I say it doesn't need the sharp um, dry um, compactness as other desert cacti do so I hope this is going to work and this is going into the grow room upstairs and I'm going to be treating it purely as a cutting. I've heard from this company who, who I got these from is you're better off keeping this particular Slumbergera more on the dry side than the wet side because it is rot prone. So I'm going to be putting this in here and I'm going to be just keeping misting it um, every day with rainwater purely at, at, on the plant and on the leaves keeping the very very top surface of the soil damp very lightly damp and the rest of it dry and keeping a close eye on it because they do like more humidity and that's all I can really say for now. Um, so that's the one I've got going here guys. Now rooting powder, we have got rooting powder, you don't have to use rooting powder when it comes to rooting cacti cuttings, they'll root on their own but um, I like to use cinnamon powder because apparently you know, for, it's meant to be a very good rooting powder, completely natural um, hormone free and it also acts as a fungicide as well so no harm to that I'm going to be di dipping it a little bit in there with all of these um, cinnamon powder is great to use as a bit of a fungicide for lots of other things too and it's completely harmless to the plant in fact it does it good and as I say just a tiny little bit so first of all I'm going to be doing the Corypuncha morellii and as I say that's more of the um, the loam based soil there tiny little dip into the into the cinnamon powder Again, this is purely optional. You don't even have to use hormone or any type of rooting powder or anything at all, really. Just put it straight into the soil. But I'm going to do that in this case. Now, the, this, this plant, the cactus, will send out roots not only from the base where the vascular tissue is, but also where the areoles are. So it's going to send out roots at the base of here as well as there. So I'm going to be putting it into the soil up to about there. You don't want to put it in too much where it can encourage rot. Up to there. And get a little bit of a, a hole in there putting that in, out of there, oh, it's a very spiny one and again this is going to be treated as a cutting so I don't think I'm going to be keeping this in the polytunnel as such now this is very cold hardy so this will have no trouble being in the polytunnel for the winter but just to get it started it is very 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 hot here in the polytunnel at the moment um, even though it's September um, it is very warm and the sun comes out so you know sometimes if it's too warm a plant won't send out roots uh, so upstairs in our plant grow room it's going to go in the window because our punctures need optimum light as much as possible in a south facing window and as I say once it's taken root um, I will then be putting it into the polytunnel so possibly over winter or because it is in its first stage of rooting I may keep it in the plant grow room upstairs um, while it's rooting because I wouldn't want it to be knocked back by the winter and even though the days are, are quite warm here still in southern I and in northern Ireland sorry um, it is very still chilly of a night time now it's September so there you go Corianna Punchia Morellii so that's that one there and as I say I'm going to be giving that a bit of a spray 
with a bit of rainwater. And the reason why I wouldn't go ahead and water this straight away is purely because it's got no roots, so it's impossible for this cutting to take up water. Um, it would just encourage it to rot. Um, it will send out roots even if that was kept absolutely dry because it's going to look for, it's going to want to get water, so it's going to encourage it to send out roots. And um, in fact, I actually, I, I think I said that I used Johnny's number two. That's not actually true. I've actually used Johnny's cutting compost with this. I'm so used to using Johnny's number two that when I'm making videos, I just say that I actually use Johnny's cutting compost, um, which we've got. It's a, it's a, a cutting and seed sowing compost because I don't want any. Um, sometimes if you have a compost that's too high in nutrients when you're rooting cuttings, it may not necessarily hurt, but it can encourage discourage them to send out roots when there is a lot of nutrients in the soil so in this case I've just used sand and John Inns potting um, uh, cutting compost and seed sowing compost rather than number two I think I may have said number two earlier so apologies not that it would do any harm but the potting on it is better when you're trying to root cuttings and as I say I'm not going to be watering it until it shows signs of new growth at the top but I will be misting it with a bit of bit of rain water just to, to, to stop it from getting dehydrated and the, the slight moisture at the top will encourage it then to root so that's that one there now we have the Slumbergia puntioids and um, just check the camera there, check how we are for the, um, excuse me a second guys, just going to check how, yeah, because it cuts off after 15 minutes, so I just have to keep an eye on the, on the camera here. Yeah, some bedroom projects, as I say, different, so I've used more of a peat-based soil with this, with extra perlite for aeration, rather than a sandy mix, and as I say, just a very slight dipping in there, very, very slightly um, in there, the punchoids. There you go. And as I say, that's going to be sending out roots, not only from the base where the vascular tissue is, but also around these, these point parts here. Now, because this is a very, apparently it's a very hard um, cactus to, to keep and grow, I'm gonna be very, very careful with this. So this is one, it does apparently like a lot of, um, a lot of root aeration. Now, apparently this one, from what the company said, that it's better off just placed on top of the soil um, rather than, Tuck in. I'll just show you here. Normally, with a, with a plant, I'd probably put it up into there and tuck it all around. Apparently, this does like to just be gently placed, not necessarily on its side like that, but just so it's going like that, according to the company. So I'm going to do what they say because it's it's their plants. Uh, it's come from theirs rather than what you read on the internet. So there's all different things about a puncture. Uh, sorry about Schlumbergia puntioids. Um, I'm going to go what the company say because this is where I've got this from. So in this case. So gently place it on its side like that, just enough so um, it can send out roots, which it will do. There, and oops, just put it a little bit more, you want to make sure it's going to stay in there. That's it. It's really important to encourage it to, to root. That's that there. So that's that. That's one, as I say, I'm just going to be misting this with a bit of rainwater daily and keeping the very top slightly moist there. The, the company says better drier than moist, but the humidity is important. And as it's going up in the plant room as well, it's going to have the shade and it's going to be around other plants and I'll monitor it as well. That's the best thing to do with cuttings, is keeping a close eye on them. Again with that one there, a tiny bit. And again the same with this. loosely in there so you don't want to compact it and there you go that's that one I'm gonna be doing updates on these regularly so stay um, I'm gonna keep you all up to date with what's happening there and then obviously don't need to put rooting powder on any of these <laughs> these are going straight in the water and again I'm gonna be keeping a close eye on them that's again the roots are going to be coming out, out not only from the base there but also from these sides here with um, Schlumbergia so it's going to be making sure that the water has um, covered the base but I don't want to be putting too much water up there because that could also encourage the, the plant to rot so that's definitely what I don't want so that should be ample there so that's that one that's easy enough to do and then when they do root I will pop them up and I'll show you the um, the process and again the roots can be coming from the bottom there the roots will come out sort of from the sides there these I believe not are areoles um, different to normal cacti this is what makes Schlumbergia a cactus even though it doesn't look like the traditional spiny desert types and from the base. Usually the roots tend to come from the base I find with these. So um, if you are rooting them in water, I still think it's a best idea to leave a couple of days for the base to dry up before putting it straight into water. And as I say, I've got a video up there on the links of how I root mining water. So there you go guys, that's it. And I'll be doing regular updates. As I say, these are gonna be treated as cuttings. These are gonna be kept a bit more moist, more of a humidity than obviously the, the puncher. Um, a bit more moist with a 
the the watering and stuff like that and um i'll do an update how they get on in the coming weeks guys so guys i'll just turn you around so i can see you all <laughs> there you go just make sure i can see see you guys look at them big huge tomato plants in the background wow <laughs> and uh oh just oh just knocking the camera again yep and here just hope you can see me so guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the potting up and exciting with all the, the new cuttings. And I say I'll do regular updates on how they get on. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of plant power. As always, from the Emerald Isle. And until the next video, bye.